Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel. I'm the CEO and founder of Iris. And the question today is, what is Iris? So Iris basically is the best health software in the world. It protects your eyes, uh, improves your sleep, makes you more healthy, more productive by uh, reducing the time that you spend sleeping, making your sleep faster, improving your eye health, uh, without the need of glasses or or some eye drops basically it's super cool works automatically you don't have to do anything and iris makes you more healthy and it makes your monitor more healthy so this is the basic idea it achieves this by reducing the blue light by controlling the brightness without flicker and all these things but we're going to talk a lot to, about these things in the next videos so right now what you need to know is that iris ma makes you more healthy it improves your sleep reduces uh, your eye pain eye strain and removes flicker and blue light from your monitor thank you very much hi everyone and welcome to iris mastery series my name is daniel i'm the ceo and founder of iris and the question today is how to set up Iris for optimal health. So I'm going to give you a quick tips so you know that Iris is working perfectly and your monitor is maximum healthy. First thing first, Iris basically does almost all things automatically. So when you install it, your screen will be a little bit more orange. If it's night, it will be more orange and you're going to use the health type so health type does everything automatic for you and it's made for best health and best productivity aside from this something important is to turn your monitor hardware brightness from the buttons on your monitor to the maximum okay your monitor hardware brightness to the maximum the reason for this is because a lot of monitors use something called pool sweep modulation to control the brightness and this changes the flicker frequency of the backlight so iris controls the brightness without flicker and if you use the iris brightness slider or iris brightness options you will not have flicker but this is a hardware thing and to remove your flicker from your monitor basically set your monitor brightness from the buttons to the maximum and control the brightness with iris for maximum eye health basically this is the basic setup use iris on health mode automatic the screen will be more dark and orange and a little bit more dark and orange at night and set your monitor hardware brightness to the maximum okay thank you very much Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel. I'm the CEO and founder of Iris. And today we start to go a little bit more technical. And I'm going to show you my screen. So the question today is how to remove blue light. And before I show you, basically to explain, you need to remove all blue light because it has negative effects on your on your eye health. It causes a lot of eye problems like macward degeneration, cataracts, and all, all other kinds of bad stuff. It also changes our circadian rhythm, so it's good to remove it at night at least. But I have contacts with a lot of eye doctors and a lot of other kinds of doctors, which told me that, and there are actually medical researchers about this, that you need to also block blue light during the day okay the reason for this is because during the night it changes your sleep patterns but during the day it's like uv light and you know that the sun has negative effects on our eyes and this is why we wear sunglasses when we go outside to block the uv light but the truth is that blue light is really close to the uv light and other harmful rays to our body like x-rays gamma rays and things like this and this is why as the most high energy light 
it's good to block it also during the day because the LED monitors spike at, uh, at the blue and there is a lot, a lot of emission of blue light from our monitors. We need to somehow block it at least a little. And this is why Iris, even during the day, it's uh, with reduced blue light. So to show you, I'm going to put myself outside of the screen <laughs> to, to show you this is Iris. And if you want to remove all blue light, you can basically, the easiest way is to open Iris from here, right? And click sleep. So right now, all blue light is removed from, from my screen. Uh, same thing with Biohacker, I think, but with coloring version. So you probably don't need this, but health mode is to, to get new users used to the program. But if you want to remove all blue light, uh, click sleep on. And if this is too much, I recommend going to the advanced settings and from the blue light page, you can control the blue light with the sliders and try to lower it day after day by a little until you get to somewhere like here during the day and somewhere here during the night. I'm not sure, but this value basically removes all blue light, but like here, we remove also the green pixel of the backlight, which also remove, uh, which also emits a little bit of blue light. So if you go here, you're perfectly safe. But some monitors should remove all blue light with values like here. Okay. So one way, from the simple settings, click sleep type, and this removes all blue light. And the second way is from the blue light page just control with the sliders. You can use one value during the entire day with manual light, or you can control these things separately. And there is also some something else. This is the sleep type, uh, the sleep transition. Iris has three types of transition during the day, during the night, and during late at night. Because during late at night, you probably need a little bit more reduction. The default values are good, so you don't need to worry about this. But if you want to use the third transition or to not use it, click it from here. And you, you see the time where the, where the third transition is active. And you can change all these things. So sleep type or from here, blue light and sleep tab, sleep page. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and founder of Iris. And the question today is how to make my monitor or your monitor flicker free. Basically, Iris does this automatically. And the only thing you need to do is set your hardware brightness to the maximum. Not from Iris, but from the monitor buttons, find the brightness and set it to the maximum. This way, you remove if you have some full suite modulation flicker and other kinds of flicker. And then control the brightness with iris or leave iris to control the brightness automatically. So you can see that here in my country, it's day now. But if I switch this to manual, you see how my screen is more dark, right? And this actually not only doesn't only reduce the blue light, but it also lowers the brightness, okay? If you want to control the brightness by hand, you can do this from the brightness page. And remember, Iris brightness is flicker free. So just set your monitor hardware brightness from the buttons, not from Iris buttons, but from the monitor buttons to the maximum and control the brightness with Iris. This way you have a flicker free monitor for free or if you paid for Iris for a couple of dollars. But you don't need to buy a new monitor. Iris makes automatically, makes your monitor more healthy automatically and control the brightness with Iris and you have a flicker free monitor and flicker free brightness. Okay. And you have different brightness during the day, during the night, all sorts of automations, but we will talk about this later. So to recap, 
put your hard drive brightness from the monitor buttons to the maximum and control the brightness with iris. This way, you have flicker-free monitor. Thank you very much. Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Master Series. My name is Daniel. I'm the CEO and founder of Iris. And the question today is how to rest your eyes better with Iris. So basically, Iris can remind you to take a breaks from the monitor from time to time. This is recommended from doctors. For example, there is a rule called the 20-20-20 rule, which basically says every 20 minutes, step out from the PC and go outside for 20 seconds and look at distant object on 20 feet away. And with Iris, you can set up a timer like this. It's basically, this is the default way Iris works. So every 20 minutes, Iris will remind you to take a break from the computer and will display you a screen, uh, a rest screen. I'm going to show you how this works basically. Let me see. From the timer page, we can customize the duration of the work and rest. And if I set this to one minute, okay, after one win minute, Iris will remind me to take a break from the from the PC. And if we don't want to wait this, we can just click here for us now. And a screen like this will display and it will disappear after 20 seconds or the period that we set here. It can be 20 seconds, it can be 10 seconds, for example. And this window can automatically close and can uh, play a sound when the, the break is coming. But you see this, try it and you see. Another thing that you can customize is how this, uh, how this screen looks. For example, on my PC, I basically use the standard. This is the first uh, rest screen that I made, but uh, a lot of people wanted a screen which uses really uh, less CPU and I made the other types of screen, but you see that when I move the mouse, there is a nice constellation. And actually, I think that you heard the sound of the, that you need to go to the PC and continue working. It's like a Pomodoro and for eye protection to rest your eyes better. You can customize this for any values you want, basically for one minute, but just set it in seconds. I'm probably going to fix this in the future. And yes, you can use the timer to, rem to remind yourself to blink. If you're a programmer or a person who knows how, how to close this screen, you can basically block the keyboard and uh, uh, this way you just can't skip uh, this screen and you can act also set the, the timer to strict mode and when the timer is strict there is no continue button and actually I think I did something bad okay <laughs> uh, good thing is that I didn't uh, I didn't set to block the keyboard because I should be locked for one minute. And this is the basic idea, basically. You can customize from here the rest screen. Okay? And remind yourself to blink more, to look at distant objects, and to rest your eyes from time to time. Even if you don't do this, this is not enabled by default in Iris. Iris will automatically protect your eyes by reducing the blue light, adapting the brightness to the light around you, and you will feel way more healthy, when way more productive, and it's super cool. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and founder of Iris, and the question today is how to make fonts more healthy for the eyes. And to explain this, I need to tell you that all operating systems use something called subpixel anti-aliasing to make the fonts look better on low resolution devices. And 
Subpixel anti-aliasing is basically used to smooth the font's edges to make them more uh, not so sharp but more uh, more smooth. And I can show you this. I think you can see how how iris font here is has blue, blue and green subpixel. I hope you see this basically, but the idea is this. Uh, all fonts on the PC have smoothing, and this is subpixel smoothing. We can disable this smoothing from the fonts page of Iris and just click simple fonts. Now, if I zoom in this, you see that there is no subpixel anti-aliasing. And this thing is more healthy because our eyes need sharp edges on the screen for better focus. When the fonts are blurry, our eye tries to focus on many different points and we feel eye strain. So actually to have a ugly fonts like this is more healthy for the eyes. And remember how the fonts look now, okay? Remember how the font look now. And I'm going to put subpixel anti-aliasing again. And it should look like this. See how much blurry the font is, okay? This is normal when subpixel anti-aliasing is used. And if you want to feel less eye strain and to make your fonts, your system fonts more healthy for the eyes, just go to Iris Advanced Settings and from the Fonts page, click Simple Fonts. This is again not enabled by default because we try to make Iris as much as automatic and best for everyone as possible. But sometimes this means not to make the, the best settings. Because if I if Iris is made to remove all blue light when you start it, some users will tell that uh, it breaks their PC because they don't know how it works. And same again with the fonts. If fonts are uh, not are sharp and subpixel anti-aliasing is disabled, some users will not like this. So if you want, like me, to have the best eye protection, instead of using subpixel anti-aliasing, click simple fonts and disable fonts smoothing. This way the fonts will look much more sharp and your eyes will be will focus better on the screen and you will feel less eye strain. So, thank you very much. Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and today we're going to talk about the transition automations of Iris. And before I start, all other uh, softwares which can remove the blue light, so most softwares which can remove the blue light does only this and they do it depending on the sun position okay you can schedule this basically the night light uh, via the I'm not sure if you see the effect but it works you can schedule this with uh, custom hours and if you enable the location settings on windows you can also use the sunset and sunrise time. This is uh, this first started in Flux. So Flux was the first program which automatically adapted the blue light uh, based on the sun position. And the goal was to match your indoor light to the sun and to improve your sleep this way. But the truth is that blue light doesn't only affect our our sleep, it also affects our health. And I'm not saying that the sunset and sunrise thing is wrong, but uh, with talking to a lot of users and doctors, this is not enough. And from, I'm not sure when, but Iris added a third transition time, which is about sleep and it activates in a time time frame late at night 
and it lowers the brightness and blue light even more than the than the sunset and sunrise so in iris first thing it automatically detects the location without the usage of uh, geolocation it does this by ip basically makes one request to the network and determines the approximate location without using geolocation and draining your battery and watching you where you are so iris doesn't uh, it doesn't care where you are it just takes the IP and calcul calculates the approximate location without the using of geolocation and this works on every every operating system and every monitor so you don't need um, you don't need special type of laptop or computer and daylight and night light are calculated with the sunset and sunrise time. You can basically see this from here. I think there is sunset time, sunrise time, and sunset time. This is the sunset and sunrise time in my location and the transition times. Okay. You can also customize this by manual location. For example, if you are behind VPN the location will be wrong detected and from here you can customize it also uh, like the windows feature you cannot use the the location but instead use the clock to set daytime and nighttime the third thing that you can enable is aside from the sunset sunrise schedule there is a fixed fixed time interval which the blue light and brightness scale can go down and this is the special special thing about iris and this is the third transition so iris has three transitions first is during the day uh, colors will be more bright blue light will be more and brightness will be more during the night blue light will be less brightness will be less and if you want this is enabled by default you can enable the sleep transition and set the sleep light and sleep brightness which will activate at fixed time interval for example it's from 0 a.m to 4 a.m midnight by default these are the default values which almost all users use but you can customize this for your preferences and this way you can have a more smooth experience with iris without the need to open the settings panel move the sliders to make, make it more orange or more bright you can use three transitions just instead of two and this is something really nice i like it a lot and something which is missing from a lot of competitor programs but they miss a lot of things it's for example, all programs for blue light reduction, it's just this. And Iris removes flicker, it improves font rendering, it can remind you to take breaks. It, <laughs> Iris is really the best software in the world for ad protection and for better health. So, three transitions, one from for day and night, just like other programs, which lower the blue light and the integrated in windows 10 for example night light can do okay and the third thing the third transition is for sleep which you can use to lower the blue light and brightness even more deep into the night play with these things customize it whatever you want and there was the results thank you very much hi everyone and welcome to iris mastery series my name is daniel i'm the ceo and founder of iris and today i'm going to show you how you can get black team on everything with iris so this is useful for example if you have some program this is useful for me as a programmer but maybe for you also for example if you have some program or you have a browser window with black text black text and white background 
you can switch the colors and make the black text white and white background black without you making to wait and my <laughs> bad explanation let me show you the programming mode so this thing reverts the core of your screen and you see how now the black text is white and everything is inverted from the simple settings you can just click programming mode and if you want to return the covers to normal click the health mode okay programming mode and you get black theme on everything which is super nice at least for me for me and programs that i use but this way you can decrease the brightness of your screen without basically changing the brightness because you switch the colors and when there is less white or white coming from the screen the screen will be darker it's something like night mode okay aside from the simple view you can ac actually get this also with the view hacker mode and remove all blue light but aside from the simple view and the types you can also go to the screen effects from here and some of the screen effects have an inversion for example simple inversion maybe negative grayscale and smart inversion smart inversion basically leaves some cores for example you can see how the logo is green now and with simple inversion it's inverted and the logo of iris is green with simple inversion it's inverted and with smart inversion several types of smart inversion uh, they leave a lot of the cores normal and just invert some of the settings and you can test this with some uh, text editor or with uh, browser or whatever you want and if you're going to use inversion maybe you see how the font smoothing is a little a little bit broken and you can combine this with with simple fonts i think it will work yes you can combine this with simple fonts and uh, the fonts will look better okay this is useful simple fonts are basically a way to disable font smoothing and when you invert the course for fonts to look good you can click uh, simple fonts so this is with simple fonts on and this with clear type the default it's a lot more blurry and not good for the eyes with simple fonts it looks way better and these are the ways basically from screen effects or from simple view and programming programming type you can get black theme and dark mode on everything thank you very much hi everyone and welcome to iris mastery series my name is daniel i'm the ceo and founder of iris and the question today is how to reduce sub pixel flicker with iris so first thing first let's explain what is sub pixel flicker i have a we have a test on the iris website to test your monitor for sub pixel flicker and the test looks something like this you can open this in new tab and if one of these mm, squares flickers on and off you probably have sub pixel flicker this mostly happens on lcd monitors and yes <laughs> and this is the basic idea if one of these rectangles flickers or moves somehow you will probably have sub pixel flicker and the way to fix this is by setting the blue light to zero or your other option is to make the screen grayscale or basically use the reading mode so these are the two ways to remove sub pixel flicker from your monitor if it's lcd monitor and right now you probably don't see the effect of iris because it's night here and 
I don't want the screen to be too dark, but you probably now see how Iris looks. And one way to fix a pixel flicker, and you can test this on your monitor, if this thing flickers, set Iris to reading mode, and now it shouldn't flicker. I can't show you this, but basically my monitor flickers. The, um, I have two monitors, the left one flickers, and I see this rectangle moving. And you can test this from here, how to test my LCD monitor for subpixel flicker. So one way to stop the subpixel flicker is to set reading mode, and this stops the subpixel flicker. The other way is to use sleep mode or basically set blue light to zero. And this will also remove subpixel flicker if you have it. And aside from, so pulse width modulation is turning the backlight on and off all the time and our retina goes like this. So pixel flicker is when the liquid crystals move and change the colors, basically they cause flicker and we can't perceive this again, but with a test like this, we can see it and we actually feel eye strain and eye pain because of this. You can use this test to test your on your monitor and if you want to remove some pixel flicker or basically reduce it remove it use reading mode which makes the screen grayscale remove the course or sleep mode and you can test this on your pc with the test from the iris website thank you very much Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Master Series. My name is Daniel. I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and the question today is how we can invite friends or tell them about Iris and they get it for free and we also get the bonus time of Iris. So you probably know that when you first install Iris it's seven day for free. So after after the first installation, you probably have seven days here and the screen like this opens. Welcome to Iris with some explanations and down here is your invite link basically. This is your invite link which you can share with friends to invite them to use Iris. If they click this link and install Iris, you get one more month for free of Iris and they also get one month free Iris. So it's win-win for both sides. And in this video, I want to show you how you can invite friends. So every time you open Iris, if your trial expires and you haven't activated the, the pro version from here, basically if you don't have some activation code you will see this window and if you click invite friends this page opens and this is your invite link you can click here or any of the sh quick share buttons or you can just copy this and send to some of your friends okay you can also find this in the advanced settings by going to invite friends and here is the button invite friends it opens the same page now if one of your friends open this page and downloads downloads and install iris basically probably have this email registered so when he downloads and install iris the next time he starts the software uh, so the first time he will also get seven days but the next time uh, the server updates the remaining time the first time you open iris and the next time he starts iris he will get 30 days one month 31 days i'm not sure 
and the next time you also start tires you also get your bonus time because iris does only one check with the server it checks only one time how much remaining time you have this is just to not use your wi-fi or internet connection much but if you want to force this thing you can click sync and now i'm actually going to show you uh, I'm going to invite myself <laughs> on my other PC right now and let me see my invite link is is this one and on my other PC I'm going to invite myself let's see okay I'm installing it right now and I finished with the installation. So now, if I click the sync button, basically I get one more month of Iris for free because I invited uh, one one of my friends. And you can use this to use Iris basically for free. If you invite, if you tell ten friends you get uh, one year free eyes, which I think is really cool. And the software, as you know, is also not uh, so expensive. So you can always buy Iris if you like it. And this is the basic idea. It's free for a couple of days. You can invite friends and get bonus time. They also get the bonus time of Iris. And this is the way we use uh, to make our software more popular because it's a really good product and if you like it you can tell friends use it for free they can use it for free and if you like the software even more you can support us and buy it for a couple of dollars and use it forever so thank you very much Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and today I want to show you how you can make the Iris transition more smooth. And what I mean by transition is this is the time it needs for Iris to go from one value to another. For example, when it, Iris goes from day to night mode, it takes exactly one hour. And during this time, it's a smooth transition. So I think you see the effect right now. Instead of going like this, instead of going like this, it goes smoothly over one hour like this. And if you want, you can make this transition faster or slower. For this, you can use the transition page. From here, you can see that the day transition is one hour, night transition is also one hour, and sleep transition is also one hour. There is a pause transition, which I'm going to demonstrate what I mean, but for example, if the day starts at this time, and the day transition time is half an hour before this, the transition end time is half an hour after this. And during the time, uh, during this time, it will go from the night value, for example, if it's this value during the night, it will go to the value during the day with a, uh, a slow transition, right? Instead of going like this, this fast, it will go smoothly over one hour. And you can increase or decrease this time depending on, on your preferences. And to show you this even better, I'm going to demonstrate you this with the pause transition. For example, when I click now pause, you can see that it takes exactly one second for Iris to go from automatic to pause mode. We can change this, for example, to 10 seconds or 10,000 milliseconds. Uh, it works in milliseconds. So now, if I go to automatic mode and then to pause, you see how much uh, the transition is much, much slower. You probably see this. And I think it still goes to 
Yeah, it still goes to to the value. And if I click automatic, and basically it's a little bit faster because it's not connected to the fast transition. But if I change this to five milliseconds, you can see how how fast the pulse and automatic mode now is. So if you increase this, you basically make the transition more smooth more smooth and here again fast and to automatic basically to make the transition more smooth go to advanced settings and from the transition page change these values to another values and it should work thank you very much Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel. I'm the CEO and founder of Iris. And the question today is how we can automatically pause Iris core changes. What I mean by this is that when we run some program, we can automatically pause Iris, basically. For example, this is really useful for designers which uh, want to have perfect colors when they use Photoshop or just paint or something. And you can do this by going to the to the core pausers and enable them. And you can add some program. And now when this program is on focus, Iris will automatically pause itself. And when this program disappears, it will it will resume. So if this program is on focus, Iris will be paused and if it's minimized iris will resume you can do all sorts of things with this for example we can all also add paint and let's draw something here okay and we can you can see that uh, the last used program goes here and we can add it and now if paint is visible iris is paused and when it goes out of screen, Iris resumes. What we can do is only pause Iris when there is a full screen up running and remove all these things, for example, or just the last two. And now, Iris will pause only if there is a full screen up running. For example, I'm going to put paint on full screen and you can see how Iris is paused now. And when it goes out full screen, it resumes. You can also customize this not to be for all full screen application, but only for some. For example, if I wrote here full screen, I think it will only pause when paint is on full screen. And for example, if some other program like Notepad I'm not sure if Notepad has full screen mode. No, so maybe, maybe. Okay, let, let's try with the browser. If the browser goes full screen, Iris will not be passed because we set here that only when paint is full screen, Iris will pass. And if we enable this, basically now Iris should pass. <laughs> This is really cool, really useful. You can use this with uh, YouTube, for example, Photoshop, Paint, and all other applications. Play with this. There is a special hack here. If you write full screen, it Iris will only pass when certain app is full screen. So to recap, if you want to pass Iris automatically, go to advanced settings, and from here, find core pausers, enable them, and at your application. Thank you very much. Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Master Series. My name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and the question today is how we can automatically pause the Iris timer. So to show you first the timer is this thing here. If we go to the timer page 
and from here enable the timer you see a clock running here and this thing basically will display this screen on a given interval something like this and this is the iris timer so uh, it's really useful when you want to work and then take a break but for example if you watch a movie or play some game you don't want this screen to come at when you try to kill an enemy or when you when you just uh, watch some nice movie and we can automatically pause the timer from the timer pausers page from here you see this <laughs> it has a popcorn because it's really useful when you watch movies and here we can basically add our player uh, by default there is common player view cbs player stuff like this and we can add our play and if we enable it you see how the timer pauses when this program is running if this program doesn't running or it's minimized it's not on focus the timer will resume and when it goes on focus again the timer stops again so if you go to the advanced settings and scroll down find timer pausers and from here you can automatically pause iris timer just at your uh, your movie application or your game here by writing the exam name or clicking the clicking the button with the last application below and when the program is on focus every time a timer will be passed and you will not see the rest screen thank you very much hi everyone and welcome to iris mastery series my name is daniel i'm the ceo and founder of iris and the question today is how we can watch dark movies and without, uh, with less eye strain with Iris. So the idea is if you know movies like Alien vs. Vers the Predator or other movies, uh, maybe scary ones, but they are shot in dark scenes and the screen is really dark. So this causes a lot of eye strain sometimes. And how we can make that we watch movies like this without feeling eye strain? The idea is basically that we need to, to make the screen more bright. But this thing is impossible uh, sometimes. And what I added in Iris is something called movie mode. And you can see it here with Star Wars. For example, this this scene is a little dark and when we put iris to movie mode it becomes uh, a lot more bright more visible and easier to see so today i'm going to show you what the movie mode does and i have prepared some scenes which are dark and now if i switch iris to more bright to the movie mode you see how the screen is more bright right this is without the movie mode and this is with movie mode for example here is the same thing this is with movie mode and without the movie mode the screen is a lot dark uh, darker without the movie mode and if you watch the movie from the bed or somewhere else it's harder to to see the scenes without eye strain so if you have really dark movie like alien vs predator or some other movie just try to watch it with the movie mode on and it will make the scenes a lot more bright thank you very much hi everyone and welcome to iris mastery series my name is daniel I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and today we're going to talk about how to have the best sleep of your life with Iris. And the idea is that you can sleep really good even if you use the computer late at night. So you can notice how right now here in my country it's 1am 
and my screen is deep orange and this helps me to sleep a little bit better but what if I didn't have iris my screen will probably look something like this and I'm not sure if you start to see the glow of my face and the difference but I'm going to try to show it the difference from here so this is wait <laughs> this is without iris and this is with iris without iris with iris and if you want the best sleep basically you want to remove all blue light the reason why we sleep better when there is no blue light coming from the screen is because in our eyes we have a special type of photoreceptor called melanopsin and when melanopsin interacts with blue light it stops the secretion of our sleep hormone and this is basically the reason why when we sit in front of the computer late at night and we don't have iris we have trouble falling asleep and we need uh, one or two hours off from the computer to fall asleep with iris this problem basically disappears because it regulates the blue light and the light coming from the screen but if you want to not just have a good sleep but the best sleep of your life i suggest you to try sleep mode so for example with health mode late at night it will still be uh, there will be still colors and the screen will be orange blue light will be greatly reduced but not all blue light is removed so all blue light starts to be removed from somewhere like here from here basically all blue light is removed and here we uh, start to remove the green light also because the green subpixels on the backlight also emit uh, some kind of blue light it's just natural for a light source to emit different colors even if it's uh, even if it's green there is still a chance to emit a little bit of blue light and if you want to remove all blue light and basically adapt our eye and tell our brain to fall asleep <laughs> We need to remove all blue and green light. Basically, red doesn't uh, have melatonin supp suppression effect. And if you really care about your sleep, try using iris on sleep mode during the night. With this thing, if you basically put your lights off, because if you have a light in the room, which is LED, and I think. Uh, the lights in my house are incandescent and they are banned i think in european union and united states so if you can find them use incandescent light bulbs or candles uh, but don't use led lights at night or use some blue blocking glasses and maybe <laughs> a hoodie <laughs> to not get blue light on your skin but Try iris in sleep mode and with sleep mode you remove all blue light and all green light and basically you have the best sleep of your life or at least better than before. So if you don't have iris you basically have the worst sleep because no blue light is removed, you have a, a lot of eye strain, stuff like this. When you use iris on health mode it's comfortable, you sleep good and everything is perfect but if you really want the best sleep uh, try using sleep mode and the screen will probably look something like this thank you very much hi everyone and welcome to iris mastery series my name is daniel i'm the ceo and founder of iris and today we're going to talk about how you can reduce the blue light only on part of your screen so for example you see how now uh, all my screen is with reduced blue light but what if I want only part of the screen to be with uh, blue light reduction for example I work with Photoshop or paint and I draw some things <laughs> my drawing skills are 
<laughs> not good. But here I have different colors and I want to see the exact colors of the screen. And if I use blue, it basically it, it's not uh, the best shade of blue. So what we can do is basically turn on the overlay mode but not from the not from the simple settings but from the advanced settings uh, let me see disable iris from here disable also the brightness oh, it's really bright uh, and go to the screen overlay enable it uh, put the opacity a little bit more and then select a screen area so now we basically have blue light reduction on the edges but at the center of the screen the the blue light is not reduced and this is really useful for designers and people who work with cores basically this way you can have a part of the screen which is with the exact cores and still reduce the blue light from your screen however the overlay mode is not so effective like uh, I resort <laughs> I, I'm not used to use my computer like this night okay <laughs> it's good now everything is good now and with this thing right now is more uh, more health for the eyes because the blue light reduction happens on uh, sub, uh, on on the level of the monitor and the overlay mode is basically over the pixels there is overlay and one thing is that it changes contrast a bit and it's even if it's all blue even if all the screen is uh, red there is still some uh, there is still some blue light uh, left and it's actu actually also hard for us to to see the effect even if I do something like this blue light is reduced but it's not as effective as for example setting Harris to sleep mode this is the perfect uh, blue light reduction basically or using a programming mode with inverted colors so with overlay mode you can do part screen uh, blue light reduction and you can use it if you work with photoshop or paint late into the night and try and see how this goes we're working to make also this mode to be able to make uh, part screen blue light reduction but it's more hard requires uh, more cpu and it's harder but we're going to probably fix this also so if you want blue part screen blue light reduction use the overlay mode and you can customize this from the advanced settings and from here from screen overlay page basically select screen area that you want to be with with normal colors and the other will be with with reduced <laughs> blue light so that's pretty much it I'm going to put Iris back on because it's night and I don't like to use my computer at night without Iris thank you very much Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel. I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and today we're going to talk about how you can automatically reduce the brightness based on screen contents. So for example, if our background is black, it makes sense for the brightness to be higher because the screen court contents are more dark and in the other case if our uh, if our background is white it makes sense for our brightness to be a little bit more down and the idea behind this 
is that our monitor uh, luminance should always match the room lighting around us. The monitor uh, should look like a book, uh, not a, shouldn't look like a, a light source in the room for best eye health, best eye protection. And we can use this if our if our background is white. So, for example, it's now orange because it's uh, late at night here. But if our background is white, it makes sense for the colors uh, to be more dark, for the brightness to be more dark. And if our background is dark, it makes sense for our brightness to be um, actually you did not see the effect but this is how my screen looks like and if our background is dark it makes sense for the brightness to be up a little and to do this we can basically use from artificial intelligence a checkbox called smart brightness and it does exactly this you see now that our uh, background is now dark and the brightness changes a little bit so the uh, the smart brightness change is around 10 percent so on white background it will be 10 percent darker basically if we have paint you can see now how the brightness will decrease little by little every second and I'm not sure if I use the high level API the effect will be the same and it starts to increase because uh, the picture the picture of the screen that Iris processes is more dark but with the low level API you basically have and this is a small small percent reduction for example 10 percent on on white uh, background but this is the basic idea so if you want to automatically adjust the brightness depending on uh, the screen contents if the page and the background is white or the page contents are white or black from the artificial intelligence page just click smart with brightness and again you can see how the brightness is reduced now and if I go to black uh, background it's going to increase little by little <laughs> this is really cool really useful if you want uh, to ma automatically adjust the brightness depending on the screen contents try it go to the advanced settings and from here find artificial intelligence page and just click smart brightness and if you want to disable this you can always uncheck this checkbox thank you very much do you know that colors can change your mood today episode is exactly about this we're going to talk about color therapy and this may be a little bit uh, not so science but it works you can try it and see for yourself so what iris has for core therapy is if you go to the overlay mode you can choose different colors of the overlay basically from here and to what the different colors do to our body is explained here so for example blue is calming for us while green is for harmony love nature acceptance red increases energy uh, stimulates us uh, the stability the passion and everything and you can read a lot about these things in the internet and become uh, more knowledgeable about the subject but with iris you can basically apply and test this for yourself for example choose some of the colors from here for example green enable the overlay and make it as strong as you want 
and see how you feel. You can choose uh, the different colors from here. You know that Iris is mostly red and uh, and orange, but there are different colors which can stimulate us. And uh, aside from this, for example, you can also combine this with uh, and protect your eyes with tires. So, for example, from I'm going to show you the effect, and the overlay mode now is working. <laughs> You're uh, doing a color therapy for yourself, but you can also change uh, the blue light a bit and the brightness. So you can combine these things. Once again. If you want to do color therapy with iris, you can go to the overlay mode and just switch the the overlay color from here. There are different colors. If you need uh, some else color, just <laughs> write uh, to us and we'll probably add it. But you can play with this from here. Choose the color you want. Uh, to be to be around you and then your screen we have the overlay with the core you can customize the oops sorry you can customize the opacity of the overlay from here and play with it thank you very much hi everyone and welcome to iris master series my name is daniel i'm the ceo and founder of iris and today I'm going to show you how you can use Iris on your native language. Uh, basically we try to support almost all languages, but I'm not a native uh, in more than two actually. I'm native in Bulgarian and um, I can talk a little bit English. So from... Somebody is writing to me, <laughs> sorry. Uh, from the language page you can choose your language for example right now we have English, Russian, uh, Espanol uh, I'm not sure what this we have Chinese, Indian, Japanese, Arabic, Turkish, Portuguese, French, German and all languages like this we also have Bulgarian of course for <laughs> people in my small country uh, can use it in Bulgarian but most of the languages are are with right translation this was um, I think the last language we added and we have Korean and stuff like this <laughs> so if you find uh, a problems with the translation somewhere here for example let me see what's not translated here for example this is not translated and we're working for to make all translation but you can basically uh, help us to translate iris from let me show you from here uh, we have an instruction how you can translate iris in your native language then just try to us and we'll update the version and give you a free code of course for the new version with your native language i know that there are many languages in the world and it will be really cool if iris is translated to every language so if you want to use iris on your native language we have the most popular 10 or 15 languages from here uh, you can find this menu from the advanced settings then go to the bottom of the page and find language from here just click your uh, your preferred language for example and we constantly uh, improve this because uh, we change a lot uh, uh, the program is constantly updated and some strings are not translated but we work to improve this so if you want to use iris on your native language go to advanced settings then from language and change to your native language thank you very much hi everyone my name is daniel I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and today actually I want to ask you something. If you can, if you have the time, uh, go to the Iris website 
and from somewhere here click our Facebook page and leave us a positive review if you like Iris of course because a, a lot of people are not sure if they <laughs> should use our software and this really helps to build trust within new users and when we hear something positive it really motivates us to make the software even better and to give our best every day because you know most of the comments we receive via email it's with problems iris uh, can we cannot activate iris for example or something is not working something is buggy and it's really nice when we see some nice words from happy users because <laughs> happy users most most of the time uh, don't write to us so if you have the time go to the iris page click uh, reviews and leave us a positive review here once again this was, uh, this will really help us build trust within new users which uh, need to decide if they need to try iris and this motivates us to work even harder and we make more money and we make more money we can provide better service the support can be faster and everything will be better <laughs> the the employees will also be happy and stuff like this so uh, if you have the time leave us a positive review and thank you very much thank you very much for using iris thank you very much for watching this video and for everything <laughs> without you we are nothing really thanks Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Master Series, my name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and today we're going to talk about how you can combine blue blocking glasses with Iris. These are present from a uh, mat from Raoptics actually. They're, they're good because uh, the lens is red, you need to, to have a, a red lens for maximum affection of the... the the glasses and they work with the light around you with uh, light bulbs with tvs and with stuff like this so if you have blue blocking glasses you can combine them with iris so maybe you just need to uh you just need to put to not use iris blue light reduction but to use only iris flicker free brightness for uh, additional lowering of the luminance in night and you can use for this basically the sunglasses mode this thing here okay and what this does is during the night it will i'm not sure if you see the effect let me check yes you see the effect so at night it will just uh, lower the brightness without lowering the blue light and this is nice you can combine them with the glasses so one way is to do this another way if you want to protect also your skin because you know the glasses are only on the on the eyes you can also use uh, iris on health mode and I actually don't see much difference between sunglasses and between health mode so for double protection just use iris on health mode there is there is no difference as i see this so if you don't want Iris to reduce the blue light from your monitor, you can use uh, uh, sunglasses. And if you want Iris also to reduce the the blue light, you can use Hilt. Or if you want <laughs> total blue light protection, just go to sleep mode and everything. Yet yeah, now there is a small difference. So I guess, uh, let me see. I guess because this blocks only blue light and Iris also blocks the green light, there is a small difference. But glasses are nice. Glasses are nice. <laughs> it's really strange with them. But they help to block the blue light from uh, other light sources like light bulbs, TVs and stuff like this. And you can of course combine them with Iris. <laughs> uh, Iris can protect your skin when you wear the glasses. and additional eye protection from the green light which emits a little bit of blue light but mm, with the red lens uh, glasses are effective so if you have orange lens you probably need also iris because orange orange lens is not not so much effective and that's it if you want to combine uh, blue blocking glasses with uh, iris just uh, click the sunglasses type and during the night the brightness will be lower during the day it, the screen will be more bright okay
uh, this should work. Thank you very much. Hi everyone and welcome to Iris Mastery Series. My name is Daniel, I'm the CEO and founder of Iris and today we're going to talk about how you can make the corners of the screen more dark with Iris. The idea behind this is to lower the lightness from the screen without lowering the blue light or the brightness more. So I'm going to place some white background here so you can see the difference. And you can do this from the simple settings, just click the dark mode. And now you see how the corners of the screen are, are more dark than the center. And you can actually... Nope. So if you go to advanced settings, one way is to use blue light reduction and the darker corners is to just use the dark mode. But if you go to the advanced settings and from here found, uh, find the lightness page. So enable the, uh, the lightness screen and the dark corners, dark mode basically. And then you can basically disable iris from here. If you put this to the maximum and this to the maximum, you have a lower lightness but the center of the screen is with... Uh, is with perfect cores. This is like the the part screen overlay, you know, this I showed you in another videos. But it's more cool, it's more smooth transition, you can see how it, it really uh, changes smoothly between black and white and it's nice. And you can always combine this with lowering the blue light and stuff like this. So, to recap, if you want, let me just reset the settings. If you want to dark the corners of the screen, just from the simple settings, click dark mode, or from the advanced settings, go to the lightness page and enable the uh, lightness screen. From here, you can actually move the radius more or less. You see this? And the opacity of the of the thing and you can customize it from the advanced settings it has default values on the simple setting and you can customize this move it left right up down and stuff like this so play with it and yes with this you can lower the lightness the luminance of the screen without changing the brightness in the middle it's really nice uh, i use it sometimes when i read websites and only at the center there is text. Try it and see if you like it. Thank you very much.